A little bit of Twitter discourse this morning, lighthearted. Mom, come pick me up. People are becoming members of the Apologista for Trains, Drops of Jupiter. People are posting uh, the lyrics to the song out of context and then saying, come on, this makes my eyes water every time. I'm not, I'm not saying it's good that you like songs. That's what I'm saying. I wouldn't like that song because I think that it's bad. But if you like it, that's great. The more love that there is in the world, if, as Tommy Wiseau said, if a lot of people loved each other, the world would be a better place. I just, I like when the people were saying like, the best soy latte that you've ever had in me. And they're posting it like, come on, bro. This songwriting speaks for itself. And I'm like, in my opinion, you are right. But not where we've come to an awful conclusion. The opposite conclusion. I should say. I did like when people said, though, it's not even in the top three worst train songs. And I was like, there's no way that could be true. But then I'm like, I mean, Hey Soul Sister is, is horrible. And Meet Virginia is definitely like close to the worst. So like, I don't know, there, there might be another train song that edges out Drops of Jupiter. Hey, now is Drops of Jupiter the worst train song? If you want to dick toward... The <clears throat> Hey, now is Drops of Jupiter the worst train song? If you want to dictate the discourse here, you got to show up on time. I'm sorry to tell you that we already discussed that. Ooh! We already discussed that at the start of the stream today. Your ass shows up late thinking you got something hot off the presses. Come on. Hey, Soul Sister is worse. You know, if you showed up on time, you would already know that I agree with you. What's wrong with Hey Soul Sister? You mean, apart from it being um, like the worst song of all time? Eh, it's, it's down there. Maybe the worst of all time might be a, a step too far, but it is down there. Fireflies? I would rather hear Fireflies than Hey Soul Sister. I'm not being ironic. American Idiot is worse. You don't know what you're talking about. That is just nonsensical. Not my favorite song of all time, but at least it has like a message behind it. Dance Monkey? Yeah, that's down there. That one that one might be worse because of the, the role it plays in my life now. Because my mom introduced my three-year-old daughter to it. And now she wants to listen to it all the time. That one's really bad. The Lazy Song by Bruno Mars. Uh, doesn't count unless it was on the radio. You can't, you can't do this. Like, we have to have a shared agreement on terms before we get into debate. People are always like, worst song of all time? What about a B-side from, like, some fucking horrible album from 1951? It was all over the radio? Well, I've never heard it, so... Nevertheless. Happy? I'm... I'm I, I, I feel like I'm... It, there's no accounting for personal taste. There's a wide range of personal tastes, okay? Happy? Overplayed? Not a great song. But it kicks the shit out of Hey Soul Sister by Train. Hey Soul Sister is like the song that an eight-year-old thinks plays in your head when you die. It's, it's distasteful. It's cloying. It's saccharine. It has nothing. That, it, it, it's weightless, but not in a good way. It's like you saying like your, your favorite song of all time is like the graduation song by Vitamin C or something like that. It has a good message. What's the, what's the message? Don't worry, be happy, Bobby McFerrin. It's got no complexity. You're flat. Everything has to be complex, exclamation mark. Not everything has to be complex, but if you're... We're talking about the worst song of all time. You know, I'm going to have some data points in my favor, even if they are only opinions. No, you know what? I'm rescinding that. I'm replying to your message with the middle finger. We're not getting sidetracked in conversations anymore by a argument towards the absurd. I'm resorting to ad hominems. It's like if you told me your favorite food was chicken nuggets and I was like, really? No vegetables or nothing? And you're like talking, alternating caps and lowercase. All meals have to be good for you. That's not what I fucking said, but you're like 32 years old, you know? No, no, no carrots or nothing? No grains? Air fried French fries and dinosaur chicken nuggets, really? Well, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna judge. I'm sorry. Hey, Anel, I just listened to Hey Soul Sister. It's nowhere bad as you made it seem. What did you think? You know what? This is the problem with society. In today's modern era, 
no disrespect to you, but about 80% of you are robots. Input comes in, it goes through a, an objective analyzer, and then output gets spat out. The song has no spirit. It was designed to sell moisturizer to your aunt, okay? That, that, was, that song was not written from a place of art, from a place of genuine feeling, from a place of like, I have, I have some pain or a human experience that I wanna turn and encapsulate into a, a piece of art that I can share with the world so we all feel a little closer to one another. That shit was like built in a fucking think tank by Dove Soap, okay? Its very existence is, in my opinion, subtle malevolence, an, an act of aggression against all that is real in the act of creativity itself. I find its presence detestable. It wasn't, you, what'd you think it was gonna start and go, car accident, fucking police sirens, and then some dude going, no, it's like, it's, that shit would never have made it on the radio because it's too daring. The train guy has an evil face, he looks like Lucifer. We're not doing that. We're not doing that either. I have no idea and quite frankly no interest in whether the lead singer of Train is a good guy or a bad guy. I'm 35, which means I can just evaluate the art on the actual merits of the art and it's fucking dog doo-doo. We're not rehabilitating Imagine Dragons music because the lead singer has great opinions, okay? It makes him a, a better person. It doesn't make it any harder to press the skip button when, you know, the lightning and the thunder song comes on. I did see, like, in the, and, and it's, again, it's just music, it's not that serious. You can still be a great person and have a different taste in music than me, I imagine. That being said, when I saw people saying, like, if you don't like Drops of Jupiter, what's it like to not have a sense of wonder? I wanted to reply, yeah, that song really triggers my sense of wonder. I wonder when it's going to be over and they're going to play something better. <sighs> Fucking... Muppets ass two old guys in the peanut gallery type joke. What's their name? Wallace and Gromit or whatever. <laughs> Whoa, dude, there's a Muppet. Oh, ATP old, dude. I'm Statler and Waldorf. That's it. That's it. Ernst and Young. Ernst and fucking old. What about Hey There, Delilah? Finally, an intellectual chatter. Hey There, Delilah is definitely... It's in that Hey Soul Sister zone. Hey Soul, they, like I'm trying to think of songs that exist in that zone. It's Hey Soul Sister, Hey There Delilah, Fireflies is in there as well. Um, the Jason Mraz song, I'm Yours. Uh, uh, Bad Day by Daniel Powder, absolutely in that zone. Yeah, no doubt. Great, great pick on that one. Hey There Delilah bangs. No, it fucking does not bang, bro. Give your head a shake. Get in, get, come on England, score some goals. Bad Day is a good song. We're f this full of hypocrites is, is what I'm learning. Chat's full of hypocrites today. It, bad Day bangs, but let me guess. You find Ironic by Alanis Morissette. Just a little too perfect. He turned 98, won the lottery, and died the next day. You expect me to believe that, Alanis? What about Fireflies? Fucking... Value brand, postal service knockoff, you will never be such great heights. Does a song have to have meaningful lyrics to be considered good? You got me so backwards, you don't even know. I'm not, I'm not necessarily exclusively a songwriting Andy. It's more like when... And everybody has their own biases. The most detestable form of music for me is like... Adult contemporary, easy listening... Um, Check out how soulful this song and songwriting is, but actually it does nothing interesting. I find it very boring. And it's, it, in a way, perhaps the reason that it annoys me more than it may annoy some people is because I always feel that, like, if you listen to rap music or electronic music or rock and roll, people are like, that's cool. I remember listening to that when I was a youth. As I got older, I wanted something more sophisticated, like Mumford and Sons. And then they're like, oh, you just, this song is so sweet. I love you and you love me back and I'd love to wake up next to you every day. A hoo hoo! It's just like it's, it's been done, man. What do you want me to say? Just is not interesting. 
I can't believe that that Train, the Lumineers, Mumford and Simon, this is like James Murphy at the end of uh, Losing My Edge if he was evil. Jason Mraz, the Lumineers, Owl City, Train. I'm trying to think of other bands that, that fit into the category. Wait, quick, give me a good four syllable one that replaces Gil Scott Heron. Who's got? Edward Sheeran. There we go, we got there. The Old Crow Medicine Show. The Chainsmokers. Megan Trainer. The, Tell me what you really want. Sorry. I, I kind of. I ended. I, this is. I, I, I went somewhere. I didn't. I never. I told myself I'd never go back there, but here we are. This guy just hates music. You realize you're repping fucking train right now. You're repping Daniel Powder. Like he wrote that song to be played in Aldo. That's not coming from the heart, man. Like, there's good music that I just don't like. But, like, I, I never thought that there would be fucking Ed Sheeran shooters in the chat. But James Blunt shooters in the chat? Sure, James Blunt. Great Twitter account. My life is brilliant. Really? You think you're a shooter for that? That hits you in the soul? It's not. There's nothing wrong with it. I just disagree. Where are you sitting on Jack Johnson? Outside the fucking venue in, the, in my car. Waiting for my friend's older sister to be done so we can drive home. I will, you will not catch me in the fucking Live Nation arena for that one. Thoughts on baby metal? Listen, I'll take shots at Jason Mraz. I'm not taking any shots at baby metal. They got real shooters. I'm actually... 90s maxing has had crazy consequences on my psyche. At first, I thought it was just going to local restaurants that are three and a half out of five and saying this is pretty good. I realize now, and I've, I've become, it's like I've freed myself from the fucking carbonite freezing that Darth Vader put me into. You know how freeing it is to just express an opinion on media without couching it in like 500 anticipatory rebuttals to counter arguments made by 14 year old kids on social media? Yeah, I understand that the singer has good opinions and donates a lot to charitable causes, but for me personally, I just don't really like the music that much. Maybe it's because I'm a product of my time and I wasn't really there like I was living in Korea. Why the fuck? I don't like the song. The end. We're bringing talking back. People used to tweet like they talked. Now they talk like they tweet and it's fucking everything up, okay? We gotta just start being like... I didn't really like that movie. Why? I don't know. I just left and I was like, I didn't like it that much. Is there like a plot hole or like you didn't like the cinematography or the blocking? Everyone's talking about the blocking these days. I don't know. It just didn't really grab me. Did you know the director is the head of the Directors Guild Union? And he, that good for him. Good for him. Good for him. Rhetoric is back on the menu. Exactly, I think. I don't know. Good advice, so I'm going to tell it to my English teacher. You've got one little problem there. Might not apply to you. It applies to me, because I'm not 15 years old. I already went through that. I don't have an English teacher. I was an English teacher. We're living in different area codes. What is it about Balatro that makes you so aggressive? Where's my hug? You should smile more energy. No disrespect. I just, I can't imagine you would say something like that and then not have a rebuttal to a rebuttal that you knew was coming. What'd you think I was going to say? I'll be nicer next time? I'm not a rude guy. A lot of the comments that come in are taking shots at me. I'm responding with an equivalent level of rudeness. You're just used to a cushy life online with asymmetric sort of dynamics where you quote tweet someone who says something you didn't like and you say, I fucking hate this person. I hope they die. And then they never see it because they're out like living their life. I fucking see it and I respond. I'm giving you a taste of what the internet used to be like and what real life could be again if you bring that attitude outside, although that might be ambitious. Hmm. So people got... Sorry. You ever listen to Randy Newman on Charitably? What are you talking about? You never, you never heard of Randy Newman. Oh, the guy who did You Got a Friend in Me? No, the dude who made the scathing anti-short person song. Short People. That song's wild. Yeah, you couldn't write short people these days. It's too wholesome. All the songs these days are about killing people. 
Randy Newman is a gazillionaire from all that crap he coughed out. It's not crap. It's a good artist, man. Even, like, you got a friend in me. Kind of a... a you, I, you were there is what I'm trying to say, okay? Kids movies didn't get songs like that in 1995, all right? So Randy Newman is good, but Hey There Delilah is bad. Me and the other successful 35-year-olds are taking your comment out of context. We're taking a screenshot of it. We're going to Appy Hour at Earl's. We're ordering kimchi margaritas and we're laughing at you. Yes. Yes, Randy Newman's over clears Hey There Delilah by the Plain White Tees. I don't know, by a factor of 35 million, maybe, something like that. What's a kimchi marg? Obviously, you guys have never been to Earl's. So they love to do that. It's chicken tender bibimbap. So if you're not familiar, bibimbap is kind of like it's this Korean dish that means like um, mixed sauce. And then we just went ahead and threw some of our kicking chicken tenders in there too. Then we added some spicy mayo on top just to make it really nice and authentic. We served it with a slice of garlic bread on the side. There she goes with the blurt blurt station, pissing away in the congregation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You thought it was X, but she talks like Y. Reminds me I'm just a funny guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look to the left and she dips to the right. I'm afraid that she might see me as a finger licking chicken eater. Wants to do it, too afraid to fly solo, never did land.